Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And today I am going to teach you how to make a phylogenetic tree with more than one values <coughs> of analysis. One, uh, sorry, more than one values of no, well, more than one not values of analysis in ITOL. So this is a paper uh, by Wang et al. Uh, published in 2023. <clears throat> so you can see in this tree that there are two types of value this and this hundred and slash one and these two values indicate different types of analysis for example you can see here uh, this is a phylogenetic tree of this group within this group uh, using this type of genes or the uh, DNA regions combined data set that is and this tree topology is generated by maximum likelihood and bootstrap values and Bayesian posterior probabilities so bootstrap values are usually uh, done in maximum likelihood analysis whereas this Bayesian posterior probabilities are generated using your Bayesian inference analysis so this tree is uh, maximum likelihood tree with bootstrap values but uh, at the node both bootstrap value and Bayesian uh, posterior probabilities is given so how so how they uh, made this type of tree with two values because usually i'm going to show you now usually when you do uh, maximum likelihood or whatever type of analysis you only get uh, one one values for example let me show you a maximum likelihood analysis used uh, use maximum likelihood analysis using done using rocksml raxml so you can see here when you click this bootstrap metadata in advance you will see this bootstrap values only and you when you press this text you will see that uh, the bootstrap values are given here but only bootstrap values no other values because that uh, program has done only the maximum likelihood not the both Bayesian posterior probabilities so how are we going to put two different type of values here at the node I mean two node values uh, in the tree so before uh, doing this, uh, you have to make sure that the tree that you're going to uh, the tree that you're going to put your values with different analysis should be similar. It means the tree topologies of your, for example, the maximum likelihood analysis and Bayesian inference analysis, both the tree should tree topologies should be similar. So this is a maximum likelihood analysis with these values and I'm going to show you another tree with that I analyzed using Bayesian inference. The same uh, data set but a different type of analysis. This is this analysis has been done by Bayesian inference and the, the three the data set are similar and the tree topology is also, also similar. The only thing different here is that this uh, this is the <coughs> Bayesian post, uh, posterior probability value. You can see this is the Bayesian posterior probability value. So now we have we can see that there are other different type of values. Don't have, you don't have to see this. <coughs> so this is our important value. So how are we going to make a tree with both these two types of values? So in order to do that, uh, first, before doing that, I would like to mention that this uh, process is going to take a little bit longer, but much faster than um, other methods like you, you, if you do editing in Photoshop or other type of F, I don't know, but it is going to take much faster than those uh, and much more accurate in this itol website so <clears throat> let's start 
so first you have to know of course you have to know your out group so first let me choose the out, out group here I know that this is the out group and this is the out group here and for example if I want to put the two values here the node values you have to select the node so you can see I have selected the node just click here and you will see a metadata here also you have to remember that you have to know which node you are choosing for example this node shows two leaves means these are the two leaves and this is the two node for example if I choose this node it will show six leaves means one two three four five six you have to know the nodes okay if you don't know the nodes you can just look at the leaves and confirm if <coughs> if this is the node and these are the leaves so it means this is the node exactly for example if you choose here by mistake or for example in tight sections like this one you you won't be able to dif tell the difference so you have to know the nodes for example you can see right now I'm choosing the node that includes this one two three four okay like this so after that uh, you have to select here and go to this metadata in this metadata you can see that we have bootstrap values already here so we are not going to manipulate or change or do anything with this just let it be there we're going to add a field and you can type like mix or even for example bootstrap slash post bayesian posterior probability values so in here we're going to first put our bootstrap values that is 100 and then <clears throat> we know that we have chosen this node and in this tree you have to choose this node and see the value of your probability Bayesian posterior probability this is one so we're going to put the one here and then update metadata so it is not updated yet you can you have to select this ps plus ppp in order to do you can see that our value is now in the tree you just do this like this you have to do with you have to put the values in all the nodes in all the, the tree so it is going to take a little bit longer you have to do some work you know but after you have done now you can just export your data in whatever format you want and after exporting I'm going to show you uh, one tree I'm going to show you the tree that I have made so this is it so this is like the I forgot to put the values here or maybe the values here is not available I don't know okay, it's available but I forgot to put the values here so this is the tree that I generated so as you can see both the values are here and this is publish publishing quality files in the tree like this is the tree that you can publish in your you can put in your paper and publish and they will definitely see this tree and they will accept your paper if you have done the analysis properly you can see I have also done this type of things and this is how I have highlights now I'll show you this type of highlighting in other uh, lesson for now this is the important thing that I want to teach is the how to put two types of values here at the knot so thanks for watching that's it for today's lesson and don't forget to hit like subscribe and i'll see you in the next lesson thank you